Yeah. Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. I'm so tired of black people just victimizing themselves. Yeah, it's weird, right? They keep talking about slavery like it happened like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, it's all they talk about is slavery and, and, and white privilege. Don't make any sense, hey, man. That's what they do when they go to sleep, when they wake up in the morning like this. They sleep, they wake up, and they, they, they made the slaves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ain't gonna never get over it. They didn't make us slaves. They made our ancestors slaves, but I'm not a slave. We're born free in this country. Yeah, we talk Just about got our own holiday, Juneteenth. Man, it's a great country. <laughs> We get to celebrate Juneteenth, our emancipation. That's when that's what it commemorates, right? Yeah, we celebrate our freedom, man. That's when we got our freedom. White people got their freedom on July Fourth. That's why we celebrate that right. our independence from uh, from from Britain. We celebrate our independence from America. <laughs> but see, this is the thing: the but, whole story behind giving us Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. Democrats exported that to get more votes. From black no people. shit. I mean. Republicans need to learn how to play the game. I mean, um, it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, that was Trump's idea. What? That was Trump's idea. He stole it from. Him. Yeah, Trump's always getting something stolen from him or locked up. They're trying to steal his freedom. Hey, but anyway, we talking about Steve Harvey. He went to Africa. Yeah, because you know, I guess that's the cool thing black people like to do nowadays: go to Africa, go to the mother. They call it the motherland. You know, the land that, not what. <laughs> They call it the motherland. I would call it the damn insurrection <laughs> land. What? Or something. The insurrection land? <laughs> what are you even talking about? It was just many little insurrections every day because it was tribes killing and taking over each other's land. Yeah. It was little in insurrections going on 24-7. And then when you would, uh, the African tribes would fight each other and catch other Africans. Yeah. And then sell them to the white man. Yeah. They should call it, um, well, whatever. Call it Africa. No, I call it no. Don't call it the motherland. <clears throat> call it what? Um, the Black Curse. It started there. <laughs> what? What are you talking the about? The Black Curse. The Black Curse. Kind of like the remember the, uh, the Boston. Start uh, this fucking video. Over. Man, what you talking about? This video's fine. I ain't starting that over. He started this video. Over. No, I ain't. I started. But you in here talking crazy? No, look at it from my perspective. I'm trying to paint a picture for you. Remember that Boston Red Sox curse against the Yankees? They traded. What's that fat dude was hitting off his homers? Babe Ruth. Yeah, Babe Ruth. They created his fat ass to the um to the Yankees, and they could never beat the Yankees. Yeah. They call it the uh the Babe Ruth curse. Mm -hmm. See, this is why black people are cursed. Oh, because, I thought you. Oh, okay. Because black people started all of this. They yeah they yeah you, you're right. It's the black. They curse. don't tell us that in the history books. Yeah. They say white people went to Africa and enslaved. No. Yeah, they, black people captured niggas and then sold it to the black person. I mean, so, sold it to the white person. What's wrong with you? You sound like Joe Biden over here. Anyway, we talking about. You know what about, it is? It's anxiety. I just need to calm down. Yeah, won't you calm down? That's what I'm going to do. You tried to start this damn video over. This damn video's hot. Anyway, we talking about Steve Harvey. He went to Africa and he shot some, um, some footage of it. I'm going to show y'all some B roll. <laughs> Nigga victimizing people. <laughs> he even victimizing himself. Dude's worth how much money? I think 200, man. 200 million dollars. White man being good to him. 200 million. 100 million went in his mouth. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say 100 million, about 25 million. Nah, his mouth probably cost about his 65. His damn teeth probably made out of damn elephant tusk. What? Them big white old teeth. You look like you got 32 wisdom teeth in your mouth. You be on uh, a Wheel of Fortune, which one of them shows is it? Not Wheel of Fortune. Hey, Wheel of Fortune. It's one family of them. Few. Yeah, one of them white shows. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. He on Family Feud, Family man. Feud. That dude be smaller, man. I was like, I don't even know how you close your damn mouth with all them damn teeth in your face. He's got a nice smile, though. It's a, man, your smile is worth about $25 million. Yeah. Yeah. Even the white people was like, man, that nigga got a nice mouth on him. Man, what's wrong with you, man? You sound like a racist today. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go to the video. That nigga's got a nice smile on him. <laughs> that sound like Joe Biden talking about Obama. <laughs> he got, he's got manners and he shows respect. <laughs> and he's clean. <laughs> a black person living hey, should go up. to Ghana. Man. Hey, hold up, man. Man, why you got to put on that dashiki for? He's in Africa. That's I the care. 
Well, that's the black thing. So if you black and you go to, you got to put on that clothes. <laughs> That's Won't like, you wear your Gucci, uh, your Louis Vuitton, yeah. your alligator skin boots? Uh, yeah, the, the, you know, white, the that white suit people. suit you used to wear. Yeah. Yeah. Won't you wear that? <laughs> Why are you wearing a dashiki? Hey, Is that what it's called, dashiki? I guess. Hey, if you go to Japan, are you going to dress up like one of the Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> Put all that makeup on your face? You <laughs> virtue uh, signaling, uh, victimizing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's what equivalent to it. It equates to, man. Like, if I go to China, like I, just like a Chinese person. Yeah. If I go to Jer- if I go to Ireland, do I got to uh, wear a kilt? They wear kilts there. Yeah, it's a kilt. You know, to play the West bagpipes. in Scotland and stuff, too. Remember we was in Scotland. We saw that. Ireland and Scotland is, is similar, right? Yeah, Scotland. And, yeah, it's all up in the same area. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, sure. I'm not too um, up to speed with that culture, you know. Might have misspoke. One of them wear kilts. Hey, I'm done talking about kilts. I want to talk about Steve Harvey. Yeah, let's talk about him, man. Start from the top. <laughs> a black person living should go to Ghana and see them slave castles so you can see what they did to us. You got to see what they did to us. You nice got to, to see how they built these dungeons <laughs> underground and they put these churches on like top Murray, and they it? dug holes in the ground to pump the music of they, what they call they Christianity into the holes while, man, they did. Let me explain. They call your ass down. They put, they walk them as far as they can first to make them lose weight. They put them in a room, then they cut a door. And after you've been in this room in two weeks, they walk you through this door. If you lose the right amount of weight, you fit through the door. If you don't fit through the door, you got to stay in this room right here. Don't then you're in this here. room for another week, they make you lose some more weight. Then you fit through Don't another door. If you can't fit through the door, you ain't lost enough weight. You got to go through four doors like that before you go through the door of no return. It seems like black people celebrate this. It's not like a damn good weight loss program. You got four doors you got to make it through. <laughs> You talk about I'm talking crazy. <laughs> no, but you got four doors you got to make it through. You set goals, man. No, but sis, it's like black people celebrate this. Yeah. Y'all celebrate this like it's Christmas. Hey, but who built that, man? Who built that? Black people built that. Well, I don't, what They else? captured it and stored you there for the white man. They got you. No, they coached people. you, kept, captured them, hey, and prepared them to go. Well, black, black people didn't build those nice little houses there. They let them come in and build them. No, the white man came in and built that. Black people's living in huts and bushes and up under some damn sticks like the damn three little pigs and shit. Man, come on now. We built temples. What are you talking man, about? Man, they ain't built no damn temples. They built them there. pyramids, them man. Them dudes is living out there in the damn grass up in trees hanging off. <laughs> you didn't want. You crazy as hell. They didn't even build all that. What you learn that from? White, white, uh, uh, white Nazis? <laughs> Then <laughs> what you said there's living in trees and huts, swinging from I limb to limb. up under trees. Man, you crazy as hell. They didn't Them niggas weren't living up under no trees. It's because there's some shade that's hot as hell out there. <laughs> and let's go to live up under these trees over here. Man, they was living in houses, man. They ain't build no houses. What, you think they just living up under trees? <laughs> <laughs> you crazy as hell, man. Stop playing. Stop playing, man. You playing, man. I mean, but that, the white man built that. See those, no, see the man. architecture and stuff? So it, black people know how to build buildings? Not, 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 <laughs> don't look that good. <laughs> they built some teepees. And black some, people build that. Damn, <laughs> and some damn igloos out of mud. <laughs> they didn't build those. You stupid as hell. The white man built that. Man, black people built that shit, You're man. crazy as hell, man. <laughs> Did you see the flag on the damn European, the damn royal family? But yeah, but they, 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 they built that. Black people built that. Black people and yeah, black, black people. Black slaves built it. <laughs> <laughs> the white man gave the architects and look, boy, I want you to do this. No, you crazy as hell. Black no, people that, built that. That was in Ghana. That's in Ghana. I get that. Calm down, Kevin. Calm down. This is what I'm saying. I'm calm. You talking about black people's living in trees, swinging from limb to I limb? I was joking about that. I ain't oh, how about how about living up under the trees? Yeah, they was living up under some trees. Man, they probably yeah for a snack and some like some chicken or something. <laughs> it's but a, they, they, they was uh, that's like like a picnic. <laughs> They wasn't living up under no trees. Kevin, but I'm serious. Back then, I seen the, um, you seen the what? I seen the shows, man. They, what shows? Them dudes, the, those black people, those African tribes. Yeah. Them dudes was living like the Indians was living when uh, Christopher Columbus got here. <laughs> yeah, it was very primitive. 
Yeah, they still living like that in, in some countries. Yeah, yeah, so why are you saying that big, nice house with all them doors they got to walk through to lose all that weight? Why are you saying they built it? They may have provided the labor, Yeah, but the white man did all the architecture <laughs> on it. That was the damn white man. They did all the drones and blueprints, huh? Yeah. They did to us. They ain't did nothing to you. You worth $200 million. I mean, you act like that happened to you. Yeah. That's horrible what happened, but yeah. Yeah. man, when y'all gonna get over it? I got over it a long time ago. <laughs> I got over that shit the day I was born. <laughs> <laughs> I was over it after mama showed us roots. Yeah, like I said, it ain't happened to me, mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I'm glad they ain't doing that no more. <laughs> Shut up. Dude, you know what? You know what's crazy about this? Black people were slaves. White people were slaves. Everybody was a slave. But the only people that still crying about it. It's black people. Everybody was enslaved. That's just a part of our history in every country across yeah. across the globe. Yeah. But why is black people still crying about it? I mean, I don't hear Indians like Native Americans here talking about it. They were slaves, too. They gave them reparations, didn't they? They gave them some reservations. They gave them land. Well, they kind of earned it. was their land. They took it. Yeah, we Native Americans now. I'm a Native American. No, you, yeah. You know that, right? Kinda. You know you're a Native American, right? Yeah. You know you're a Native American, right? Everybody that's born here, you're a Native American. Yeah. Didn't know that, did you? Technically, yeah. Yeah, it's a Native American. What they did to us. Y'all need to see this. What they did to us. <laughs> we all know what they did to us. Yeah. They but, sold us like property. Yeah. Split up families. Yeah. Raped a black woman. Yeah. You know what? I was I mean, on we TikTok. we all get it. I was on TikTok, and um, to breed the slaves, you know, to have more slave babies, mm. they would find the biggest, strongest black dude, and he... Had sex with all the women. Lucky dude. Yeah. I mean, lucky when it comes to sex, but not the, you know. Well, he wasn't lucky. Well, he was lucky. He's lucky busting them nuts. I know that. Yeah, waking up every morning having to have sex. Pretty, I mean, the other stuff is horrible. Don't get me wrong. But that nut busting, I'm sure he enjoyed that. He's probably skeet nuts all over in that damn hut where they were sleeping. But you stupid said, but they, yeah, they used to breed slaves like that. They would take the biggest, strongest, fastest. Uh, I get over it. I heard it. I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve, you need to get over this shit. I mean, it makes sense. You you go get the scrawniest, weakest slaves. Ain't no good to have. You gonna have a breed all those slaves? You gonna bring the buck in? <laughs> yeah, you gonna have a bunch of weak slaves all over the place? <laughs> Little weak scrawniest. Who's the breeder in here? Why is he sleeping with all these women? <laughs> Look at these kids. They like they got polio. <laughs> that ain't funny. What's wrong with you? Yeah, and it was a poor taste. Yeah, I should apologize, huh? No, no, that's fine. You was joking. No, I man, I think I should apologize. Well, go ahead and apologize. Don't do it. Hurry up now. It's taking too long. Anyway, Steve. Hey, hold up. Stop victimizing your own people. Yeah. This that is what's hurting uh, black people, they cannot get over this. Yeah. It never happened to them. Y'all conflating the past with the present, man. That's that's in the past. You're in the best country in the world. This Just ask is, Steve. He's worth over two hundred million dollars. Yeah, this 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 mindset, this black this mindset that minorities have victimizing themselves. Yeah. that that inhibits success in this country. It hinders. It's not systemic racism in this country. It's the mindset, and you're feeding it. Yeah. You're breeding. You're breeding all these damn victimized. <laughs> Yo, breed them. <laughs> oh, breed that old oh, victim mentality. <laughs> that dashiki looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody put too much starch in that shit. Like you got that shit at Party City. <laughs> hey, our giveaway's almost over. It ends this month. Give away a four wrapped in $10,000 in cold hard cash at the end of the win. Go to officialhardtwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, Gets you automatically into the wind. Yeah.